economist Muhammad Abdul Khalid, a research fellow at University Kebangsaan Malaysia, praised the EPF's new third flexible account as beneficial for both flexibility and enhancing retirement savings. Muhammad said the third account offers a reasonable balance, especially important after the 150 billion ringgit withdrawn during the pandemic. He said had the four withdrawals during the pandemic not happened, the need for account 3 would not have risen, adding that a third account is a less damaging solution to the needs of members requiring access to cash. Starting May 11, EPF contributions will be divided as follows, 75% into account 1, 15% into account 2, and 10% into account 3. Commenting on the 5% increase in account 1 contributions, Muhammad said EPF was attempting to address the challenge of balancing the pressure from the people for immediate withdrawals with rebuilding retirement savings quickly. But he said the measure falls short in addressing the broader ramifications of an aging population, as not all workers possess EPF accounts, while only half of non-pensionable workers are currently enrolled in EPF. Certain measures such as ensuring comprehensive retirement savings and extending this obligation to encompass all workers, particularly those in the informal sector, is paramount, he said. Sam Chua, FMT News.